Stand up. The Vanguard! Welcome back to a dual video! Haven't seen you in a while. And in case you haven't seen the vlog that I uploaded like 10, 11 days ago or something, there's a reason behind me not having uploaded much lately. And that's university. Almost all of my time has been going to that. I also go to what Seb and I have figured out that translates to college. Maybe it's not completely that, but that's the best translation we would come up with for what we what I have here. And then on Tuesday, I also have my internship. I'm going to a um, primary school to help teach, because I plan to become a primary school teacher. And I'm really looking forward to that. I'm starting on Tuesday, but it does mean a lot less time. I even have very little time to write Yu-Gi-Oh! Burst. Still, it's advancing, but very slowly. Today, I just decided I want to make one video, because I haven't made a, like a dual video in like, was it two, three weeks? So, I'm going to do that. I'm going to use the Teller Knights for the first time. I faced them once. What was that? I faced them once. That was in DNYC San Francisco. Lost to them in round one. Uh, I was using Constellers. Um, I won round two, three, four, five, and then lost round six to Shadows after having won round five against Shadows. Um, this got me 10th, uh, and there was top eight cuts. Unfortunately, I just didn't make it. But with my participation, participation point to do qualify for DNYC's Worlds, which is what I was going for, so that's great. Let's see if I'm first. Dark Vampire Modes from Okay. Let's see. What can these things do? Um. No. Tonight from the hand. Sounds like I want to go Vega into Big Old Bitch. Although, reinfo no, probably not. So, I want reinforcement into something that I don't know yet, because I can u just use Vega to summon it. What am I going to summon with them, though? I have a feeling I don't like this much. Did I copy this deck from someone else? Probably. There's a couple of cards in here that I'm like, why would I use this and at this amount? Um... I don't know. There are lights, I'll probably go for Omega. Yeah, let's go reinforcements. And once again, I this is the first time I've ever been playing with them. I barely read their effects. So this is just me trying to figure out stuff. Oh, I could use Altair. Something. No. Until I from the deck to the grave, which could be good. Um do draw one card. I kinda want that. Yeah, I want this guy. Because I don't really know what to do with Bagel Toys or Bagel be be Goose, if you want to pronounce it. I haven't looked into that yet. Um, so I'm gonna summon Vega. Use its effect. Special summon to tell her it runs up from my hand. Which is gonna be this guy. And then use its effect. Waiting for a reply. Does not seem to be any. Send a telonite from hand to grave. To draw a card, I'll send this one to draw a card. Look okay, at this guy. Um, oh yes, send Telonite from deck to grave, which is nice setup for the whichever the blue one is. The one with 1700 attack. I don't know their names. Don't judge me. Um, then I'm gonna overlay into Omega to play it defensively and have it survive most of what the face downs can do. Omega attack. Yay. Uh.
vampire or vampire spell trap. Let's see what's going to happen. I've seen vampires been played like once or twice a little while ago. Vampire Lord, there it is. That's if it inflicts battle damage, but it, I have a 2400 thing. I'm going to use Photon Lead now. Delight, no one's from your deck to the grave. Well, why not? Photon Lead? No response, it seems. Talk to Shogun. This thing. I'm pretty sure Shadol Squamata has this thing's armor. I actually know the Shadol's names and effects a little better than the Satellar Nets because I faced two two of them in matches recently. The DNYCS. Yes. Teller Knight from deck to grave. What Teller Knight do I want in the grave? Yeah, th that's, it's set up for Altair. Which one do I not have yet at all? Um, this one? No, I have this one. Denim. You can have Teller Knight once you deck to your hand. Yeah, I don't have a denim in the grave yet. For the rest, no, I don't have all of them in the grave yet, but I have all of them on the field, as a material, or in the grave. So I'll just send this one. You can call me noob if you want, just if you have any Satella or night, like, strategy tips. Like, if you say, like, I would have sent that to the grave instead of that, I would have exceeded with that instead of that. Just if you're a good and, uh, like, experienced Satella or night player, f feel free to give me hints and pointers in the comments, but just please to make it, please make a constructive criticism and not just like you suck because that's it, because I'll just ignore it or delete your comment. I'm fine if you're, if you think I made bad choices, but uh, well, let's see what that is. Okay. You can discard a zombie to monster in your grave. Then check out a zombie to monster in your graveyard with less level than the discard zombie to monster in your graveyard. Meh. Okay. The other one was level 4, right? Yeah. Mmm, there's only some monsters in your grave, less and less. Yeah. Huh. Looks like I was right. Looks like we're, we both have to get used to you, two effects. That is possible. Well, he can attack me, though. I do have a trap for you. Dimensional prison. Reckless greed, go ahead. You're still going to get your stuff banished. I'll just banish that for you. Let's see. Eka the caninita the caninin bena. Oh, that was a special summon. I call them. I mean, a special summon by Genesis is effect, so it's not gonna work. No, well, no, he can do the set. Um, I chose the wrong word there. Let's see. What do I have in the grave? Let's see. We could have also not thinking about it since that was it Altair. Is it called Altair? The blue one? 
I can summon something else. I don't know. I don't really know, like, how the vampires play. So what I think I'm gonna do, let's see, what can I do if I get one of these guys out? This time you can add Teller Knight Monster from deck to hand, which can be the blue one. I'm just gonna call him the blue one. And then... Uh, I can't really stop any card effects, though. I'm just having all other cards in the field to the hand. Uh, okay. Let's just. I, I'm, I won the duel, sort of, I guess, because he quit. But I'm going to check what I would have done. <sighs> no, I'm, I wouldn't have used this because I would have lost my Omega. Would I have used this? I'm just going to continue to put a kind of anchor card or effect. Nah. Uh, Ooh, I can just. Get a free destroy? Okay, uh, what I would have done is Call of the Haunt. Uh, I'm just gonna make the move now because I can. Call of the Haunted into Deneb. Add a Teller Knight from deck to hand, which will be Altair. Now, I just realized that when using Altair, I can't actually attack with anything but Satellar Knight monsters. I, I just read that. I remember reading it earlier on in the duel, but I forgot about it. So even if I use the Alteros and destroy the thing... No, I'm just gonna summon Altair and not use the effect, because then I can still do the fancy stuff. I, I would have just attacked and then seen what happens. This is 35... Um, 59. Fifty-six. If I use that, and these ones together, thirty-five. 50. So as long as Omega is one of the three that does the direct attack, I could have finished them off. It just all depended on what he had face down. I don't know what that would have been, but uh, yeah, that was a duel. Hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope you are okay with me being gone. I'm not really, but I can't really do anything about it. I'll see you later. Bye.